Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look at PX Code plugin. It can be used inside of Figma to help convert your design into HTML code. And it can be installed for free on Figma, so check it out. So now let's get started. So I'm going to dive right into Figma and I've already prepared my design previously. Uh, so this is the design, it is uh, the front uh, main section of the website along with the navigation bar and the logo and it's really really simple and sweet uh and straightforward as well uh so yeah but to get started let's go ahead and open up the plugin and it's right here px core and you have to create an account so i have already created an account but if you haven't already you can go ahead and click on this link right here open px code and it will take you to a new tab and you can create your project from here. So I'm going to close that. So now you have this option export asset size. So I'm going to stick to size 1 and I'm going to export all frames and artboard. So it might take a few seconds. Okay. So my file has downloaded and the plugin has exited itself. So now I'm going to go over to PX Code, the actual website, and I'm going to click on New Project. I'm going to drag and drop it. So now I'm going to click on Create Project. So start here. It will give you instructions every single time you upload a new project. So that's good. So I'm going to click on that and uh, create a new screen. And I'm going to put in uh, the file name over here and click on new. So they give you a set of instructions and they walk you through it. Uh, so it's like a guideline so that you're not lost uh, while you're at it. And some items are out of flow on the canvas with absolute positioning. We focus on structure now. So the first step is structure. So I'm going to follow the arrow marks. And for HTML, it's kind of like a flow from H1 to paragraph. And uh, also the div portions are there. Uh, so that's part of HTML. So now we are basically converting uh, plain images uh, to HTML code now. So that's what we are going to do. So they give us suggestions. Okay. So looking at the suggestion, they are asking me to analyze the block. So I'm going to uh, accept that by clicking on it. And for the button, they want to combine the text and the uh, red button as well. So that's uh, that will be under one div block. So I'm going to combine that as well. And the logo and the menu and the header also. Let's go ahead and click on combine. Okay, so so far is good. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on next step. The yellow parts are overlapped item, purple are attached content, and green are flexbox space candidate. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next step. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on flexbox. And I'm going to analyze. Yes, create to a flexbox as well. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to exit this out. Okay, and let's go back once again. And I'm going to click on this. Up and back. So we are currently in the third step, which is responsive uh, phase. And the HTML structure is zero bug and well organized. We focus on responsive design now. So we have done a good job. In following the instructions so we have cleared out all the bugs and our property section the side panel looks more like HTML so that's great so now let's go ahead and click on preview once to see how it looks okay it looks really good okay so that's really nice so we have just seen how our design actually looks uh, when it is imported inside of PX code and after the structure of HTML is sorted out and it is previewed, this is how it looks. It looks 
uh, just like the design which is really cool so now the plugin is actually based on converting the figma image to html which we currently did but it's still in uh, the image form which we have created inside of figma but how do we see uh, the html code well it's pretty simple you have a code option right here so you can just click on it get code and it's processing and there it is so it is pretty cool and we have about a lot of lines about 143 lines uh, this is just react and we also have html uh, lines of code which is pretty cool and yeah it is really simple and you can download the code and you can use it for your projects as well uh, so it is really that simple so yeah i hope you found this video helpful and i will see you in the next one thank you